you live on the water, if you are visiting our cities, we appreciate your visiting. If you live in low-lying areas, if you're in a recreational vehicle here visiting, or any citizens with special needs to consider evacuating the area sooner rather than later. Nueces County leaders holding a news conference earlier this afternoon on what their plans look like at this hour. And as you just heard there from Judge Connie Scott, urging folks that if you are in town for the holiday weekend, it's looking like it's time to go ahead and cut that trip short so that people who live here, residents can focus on safety and their plans. Now, the city of Corpus Christi also held a briefing today. Some may be wondering what their preparations are and how those take form if Beryl does have an, a direct impact here. And that is something our Josh Maxwell spoke with Corpus Christi Fire Chief Brandon Wade about today. Josh joins me live with that report now. Josh. Leslie, with any emergency, it's important to have plans in place, which is exactly where the city's EOC center comes into play. Chief Wade telling me that it's going to play a pivotal role when addressing Hurricane Beryl. Now, over 50 city officials on webcam on the webcam call with the National Weather Service this afternoon getting the latest updates on Barrel. Wade tells me that when situations like this do happen, they have a key base of having a key base of operations is essential for public safety and response. But they're the key piece that has planning updates, uh, getting resources, requesting resources even from the state and all departments participate here in the city as part of the EOC in some fashion. Wade says that there are plans in place that the community should be prepared for, which does include coastal flooding. Now on 3 News at 10, I will have a wrap up of both of these briefings from both the city and the county and what you at home as the viewers can expect to benefit from this information. But for now, reporting live from City Hall, Reporting live from City Hall, Josh Maxwell, 3 News, back to you.